Ooh, that tang. Sweet, sweet summertime, my friends. And what better to make than a spicy, sweet, and sour fruit salad? I went to my local farmer's market to find a couple of things for my fruit selections. The first tip for making a good fruit salad is you need to buy fruit that is ripe. If it's not ripe, you aren't going to have good fruit salad. I mean, how many of you have had a fruit salad ruined by a flavorless, hard honeydew or a cantaloupe? I know I have. And it's going to be different depending on the fruit, but in general, there are a couple things you can do. You've been given senses for a reason. Number one is give it a look. Does that banana or melon have a bunch of green on the outside? Or is there no green? Is it nice and yellow? If it's a fruit you haven't seen before, pull out your phone, look up a photo, and compare. The second indicator is touch. Try pressing on it. You don't want it squishy, but there should be a little suppleness to something like a cantaloupe, apples, berries, bananas, or mangoes. Next up is smell. Get up close and personal and give that fruit a sniff. For a lot of fruits, you can really tell if it's got that nice sweetness stage. If it doesn't smell like anything, it's probably rather unripe, and you should be able to tell if it's rotten. Here's the haul of fruit that I ended up with. I got some nice blackberries, I've got these Thai bananas that I wanted to try out, they looked interesting, pretty neutral flavor, I had already tried one. I also have a really nice and ripe mango which you can really test using your taste and touch. To round it out, I just grabbed a couple of apples. Now it's time to cut everything up. This is up to you, but I like to cut up everything to roughly the same size based on my smallest ingredients. So in this case, I have some blackberries and I'm going to try to cut everything else to around that size so I get even spoonfuls. Let's cut. Now that we have everything cut up, it's time to make our sour and spicy dressing and serves two very important purposes. One is taste, obviously as the spicy and sourness will help balance and contrast from all the sweetness from the fruit. Additionally, the acid will help slow down the browning color that can happen to raw fruits and vegetables from oxidation. To make this, I'm going to add some lime zest, a dash of salt, and some ground dried adobo chilies. Next, we will squeeze in all that lime juice and muddle everything together. Now you just need to splash this over your fruit salad and toss everything in. And just take a look at this beauty. So colorful, fresh, and flavorful. Spice is not overwhelming at all. Definite upgrade to your typical fruit salad. I am gonna enjoy the rest of this and if you guys have enjoyed the video and want to stay up to date with all my content, definitely drop me a like and subscribe. Also, if you guys ever make any of these dishes, definitely send them to me on Instagram. Would love to see what you guys are cooking up. But as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.